patient who looks like this walks into your ED, you know it's angioedema, but is it histamine mediated or bradykinin mediated? Both can look identical, but are treated very differently. Hi, I'm Hannah Maynard, EM resident, and it's time for your quick hit of the day. Angioedema literally means vessels leaking, and that leakage can either be mediated through histamine or bradykinin. Histamine mediated angioedema is the most common, accounting for 40 to 70% of ED cases. It lives on the allergic reaction spectrum, essentially a form of anaphylaxis. Look for common triggers such as foods, medications, especially NSAIDs, and insect stings. It has rapid onset, lasting hours, not days. You might see hives, itching, GI symptoms, and these patients usually respond beautifully to hydosteroids, IM epinephrine, and antihistamines. Bradykinin-mediated angioedema, on the other hand, can be acquired, drug-induced, or hereditary. ACE inhibitor-mediated is the classic culprit, and it can show up at any time after taking the medication, day one or year 10. Bradykinin swelling tends to be more focal, has a slower onset, and can last several days. And here's the kicker, they won't get better with standard anaphylaxis treatment. Instead, they need therapies that reduce bradykinin, such as C1 esterase inhibitors, bradykinin blocking agents, such as ecalantide or acadabint, alternative therapies such as TXA or FFP, all potential options, each with their disadvantages and advantages. Regardless of what medication you choose and the type of angioedema you're treating, the cornerstone of therapy is always going to be good airway observation and early airway intervention. Bottom line is, if you're insured, treat like anaphylaxis, and if there's little to no improvement, start to think that you're dealing with a bradykinin-mediated angioedema instead. Alright, that's your quick hit of the day, now time to go and crush your shift. <laughs>